Chapter 21 Merging in Git When we first discussed branching in Git, we said that using branches is all about isolating our work. And just to be clear on this, this is true. That's why we use branches. However, isolation is almost always a temporary state. We don't want to isolate our work in perpetuity. We want to go on a little journey to work on something without having to worry about any other changes. But when we're ready for it, we like to come back and contribute the fruits of our labor somehow. In Git, we call this merging, and it's the exact opposite of branching. When we branch, a river splits in two. When we merge, we rejoin two branches of our river so that they become together again. Depending on how much our branches have diverged, merging them back together can be anything from straightforward to pretty complicated. Git needs to somehow figure out how to reconcile all of the differences in the two branches we are merging and land on a situation that encapsulates all changes in both branches. Quite often, Git will figure it out on its own. Sometimes though, it won't be able to and rely on us to tell us what to do. Before we get to that, Let's start with some simpler examples of merging in the next chapter.